listen and point. This morning, the children are in a wildlife park with their teacher. in the day and they're awake at night. Ooh, there's a parrot flying in front of us. It's prettier than the bats. Miss Field, why's that black bear over there? Look, under that tree. It isn't with the kangaroos and rabbits because it sometimes eats meat. Where are the lions? Are they in a cage? No, there aren't any cages here. But there are some very big walls. All the animals live outside. Oh, lions eat meat and they aren't in cages. Oh, it's okay, Jim. We're staying inside the bus. Mm, okay. Now let's go and look at the pandas. They don't eat meat. <laughs> In the afternoon. Look! Hey! <gasps> look at that whale! It's bigger than the dolphins. Oh. Oh. Penguins are seabirds. Are there any here? That's right. They're birds, but they can't fly. There aren't any here. Sorry. <gasps> Look! Dolphins! <gasps> They're cleverer than a lot of animals. Yes. I like them because they don't want to eat us. <laughs> <laughs> and number one. This morning, the children are in a wildlife park with their teacher. <gasps> oh, look at that big brown kangaroo next to the tree. Oh, yes! And the little brown rabbit's jumping! <laughs> Three. <laughs> Miss Field, that bat in the tree isn't moving. Is it asleep? <laughs> yes, it is. Bats often sleep in the day. And they're awake at night. Four. Ooh, there's a parrot flying in front of us. It's prettier than the bats. Five. Miss Field, why's that black bear over there? Look, under that tree. It isn't with the kangaroos and rabbits, because it sometimes eats meat. Six. Hmm. And where are the lions? Seven. Are they in a cage? No, there aren't any cages here. But there are some very big walls. All the animals live outside. Oh, lions eat meat and they aren't in cages. Oh, it's okay, Jim. We're staying inside the bus. Mm, okay. 
eight. Now let's go and look at the pandas. They don't eat meat. <laughs> Nine. In the afternoon. Look! Hey! <gasps> look at that whale! Ten. It's bigger than the dolphins. Oh. Eleven. Oh, penguins are seabirds. Are there any here? That's right. They're birds, but they can't fly. There aren't any here. Sorry. <gasps> Look! Dolphins! They're cleverer than a lot of animals. Yes, I like them because they don't want to eat us. Listen and say the animal. One. This big cat likes eating meat. Two. These small black animals sleep in the day and they're awake at night. Three. This animal lives in the sea. It's bigger than a dolphin. Four. This beautiful bird's got a lot of colors. Five. These little animals live under the ground, but they like jumping on the grass. Six. These black and white seabirds can't fly. Seven. This Big black or brown animal eats plants, fruit, fish, and meat. Eight. These sea animals are cleverer than a lot of animals. Nine. This big animal's got a long tail and it can jump. Ten. This big black and white bear doesn't eat meat. What are you eating? Is that Jim's picture of the wildlife park? <laughs> I'm not eating it. I'm bringing it to show you. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Look, it's Jim's picture of a bear and a kangaroo. Oh, and a parrot. Meow. The bear's the biggest, but the kangaroo's got the longest tail. <laughs> what? Is its tail longer than mine? Yes. Meow. 
I think so, Harry. Mark, 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 mark. Hmm. So, which is the best animal? Well, I don't know which one's the best, but the parrot's the prettiest. <laughs> In this barn, Shelley, you're the prettiest. <laughs> and you're the biggest and the oldest, Harry. <laughs> and, and Gracie's the angriest. <laughs> and you're the worst singer. <laughs> and Rocky's the naughtiest animal in this farm. <laughs> <laughs> And you think you're the cleverest, but you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not again! Stop it! Be quiet, everyone! <laughs> Mom's the angriest animal in the barn. of the wildlife park. <laughs> I'm not eating it. I'm bringing it to show you. The longest tail. Mm. What? Is its tail longer than mine? Yes. Mm. I think so, Harry. Mm. So, which is the best animal? I don't know which one's the best, but the parrot's the prettiest. <laughs> In this barn, Shelley, you're the prettiest. <laughs> and you're the biggest and the oldest, Harry. <laughs> and, and Gracie's the angriest. <laughs> and you're the worst singer. <laughs> and Rocky's the naughtiest animal in this farm. <laughs> mm. And you think you're the cleverest, but you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Stop it! Be quiet, everyone! Mom's the angriest animal in the barn. Sorry, Henrietta. <laughs> and say the name. One. And you're the biggest and the oldest, Harry. 
too. Well, I don't know which one's the best, but the parrot's the prettiest. Three. And you think you're the cleverest, but you aren't. Four. And Rocky's the naughtiest animal in this barn. Five. Is its tail longer than mine? Six. I'm not eating it. I'm bringing it to show you. Seven. Mom's the angriest animal in the barn. Eight. And you're the worst singer. Grammar. <laughs> Young. My baby sister's the youngest in our family. Pretty. This kitten's the prettiest. Fat. That puppy's the fattest. Good. These ice skates are the best. Listen and stick. One. Look, Mum. I'm putting stickers in my sticker book. This is my wildlife park. I see. Which animal are you putting in first? I'm putting the oldest animal on the ground, between the road and that small lake. It's the lion. Good. Two. What's your second animal? Well, I think it's the tallest animal when it's standing. And I'm putting it under the tree. Look, it's a bear. <laughs> oh, yes. And it's got the dirtiest face. <laughs> Three. My third animal's got the longest tail and it's jumping behind the car. Oh, yes. That's the kangaroo. Four. What now? Which is your last animal? It's my favourite because it's the prettiest animal in my park. And where are you putting it? Here. Look. The parrot's on the car. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a nice picture. Then sing the song. I'm Rocky Doodle Doo, and here.
here's our song for today. Moving like wild animals. This is a wildlife park. We've got our masks. And we're all moving like wild animals. <laughs> He's running, running, running like a lion. She's climbing, climbing, climbing like a bear. He's jumping, jumping, jumping like a kangaroo. She's hiding, hiding, hiding. Can you see the kids in there? The parrot's getting food. It likes to fly. It's losing its banana. It's falling in the sky. Jumping like a rabbit She's flying, flying, flying like a bat She's very slow She's moving like a snail He's walking like a penguin Can you do that? Which kind of animal is in Vicky's picture? Listen and tick. That's a nice picture, Vicky. Thank you. It's a family of my favourite animals. Look, the daddy's here above this tree. Oh yes, he's the biggest of the four. Yes, but the mummy's the prettiest. She's on the ground below the tree. Oh, yes. She's beautiful. What's she doing? She's feeding her daughter. Her daughter's opposite her. Oh. And what about that little parrot near the cage? That's their son. He's going there because he wants to sleep. I like your parrot family, Vicky. <laughs> So do I. <laughs> Grace's Grammar <laughs> The bat's above the tree. The snail's below the flower. The parrot's near the cage. The bus stop's opposite the zoo. Hello! This is my cat, Sammy. Sammy loves food. When we think of what animals eat, we put them into three groups. Do you know what these groups are? Let's find out. There are many animals in the world. Dolphins, Lions, kangaroos, and, of course, people. Animals eat different things. Meat, leaves, fruit, fish, and seeds. When we think of what animals eat, we classify them. There are three groups. The first group is carnivores. Carnivores only eat meat and fish. Whales, sharks, and tigers are carnivores. The second group is herbivores. Herbivores only eat plants. Camels, horses, and elephants are herbivores. The third group is omnivores. Omnivores eat meat and plants. 
dogs, bears, and people are omnivores. I feel hungry now. Okay, time for some questions. What do we call an animal that only eats plants? That's right. An animal that only eats plants is called a herbivore. What do we call an animal that only eats meat and fish? That's right. An animal that only eats meat and fish is called a carnivore. Right. I need to go home and give Sammy some food. See you next time. Bye. Look, these animals eat. Listen and check. Welcome to Old Town Safari Park. Now, who can tell me the name of these animals? They're dolphins. Dolphins live in the sea. They eat fish. And what's the name of this animal? I've got a teddy like that. It's a bear. That's right. And what do bears eat? Me. Fruit. <laughs> yes, you're both right. Bears eat meat, fish, leaves and fruit. Now, what about these animals? They're lions and they live in Africa. Correct. What do lions eat? They eat meat. Yes, they do. Now, here in the water, you can see some birds. They can't fly, but they can swim. Penguins, and they eat fish. And these big black and white animals? What are they? Pandas. And what do they eat? They eat leaves. And here we are at the parrot house. Gosh, they're very noisy. What do parrots eat? They eat fruit and seeds. Listen and read. Then complete the table with the animals from activity two. We can classify or put animals into groups when we know what they eat. There are three groups, carnivores, herbivores and omnivores. Carnivores only eat meat and fish. Tigers and sharks are carnivores. Herbivores only eat plants. Kangaroos and rabbits are herbivores. Omnivores eat meat and plants. People and chickens are omnivores. Who has a pouch? One morning, a mummy kangaroo's near the river. She's playing with her joey. A joey's a baby kangaroo. But what's that noise? The kangaroo looks and sees a very old wombat. The wombat's crying. What's the matter? The kind kangaroo asks. I can't see, and I need to eat and drink. I haven't got any friends to help me, the wombat answers. 
I'm your friend, the kangaroo says. Hold my tail. The wombat holds the kangaroo's tail, and she takes him to the river. Here, now you can drink, she says. Then she takes the wombat to the greenest grass and says, Here, now you can eat. To the old wombat all day. When it's late, she says goodbye to him and she looks for her baby. Where is he? She can't find him. Joey! Joey! Where are you? The kangaroo shouts. It's okay. He's asleep below the biggest tree. The kind kangaroo finds him and goes to sleep too. The next day, she wakes up and sees a pouch. She puts her joey in the pouch. Then she sees the old wombat. Look, this pouch is brilliant. But where does it come from? It's my present to you. You're the kindest kangaroo that I know, the wombat says. And from that day, all mummy kangaroos have pouches to carry their babies.